the B-17, nicknamed e mate U.S. Air Force serial number 4239815, was an early B-17G model built by Vega and was delivered to Long Beach on September 10, 1943. Then, it was assigned to 323rd Bomb Squadron, 91st Bomb Group at Bassingbone, England on October 16, 1943. On February 22, 1944, during the Big Wig campaign, he made failed to return from that death mission with 1st Lieutenant Kenneth Sutherland crew. The primary target of the day was to bomb Oschersleben, Germany. But because of bad weather conditions, Bünde, Germany, was attacked. Imei was hit and damaged by flak over the target area and lagged behind the formation. It was finally shot down by enemy fighters and was last seen going down near Gütersloh, Germany. Only three crew members survived and became prisoners of war. One of them was Staff Sergeant Fred A. Tabor, who accounted the following to the missing air crew report number 2641 after the war. On or about 12 o'clock, February 22, 1944, we were hit by flak and had to feather number one engine. Almost immediately after this, we were attacked by enemy fighters and the group gained in speed and tightened formation. We were left behind. The last word we received from the pilot was whether we should try to hit the deck and head for home or try to keep up. We all agreed to try to make it home, and so we salvoed our bombs, one 500-pounder staying in the racks. During this time, we were repeatedly attacked by the enemy fighters. After we were left out of the formation, two fighters came in and made individual passes at us. The first pass killed the engineer, co-pilot, and tail gunner, wounding the navigator and myself. I helped the ball turret gunner out of his turret and on with his chute, and by then the waste gunner had the door off the escape hatch and the radio operator had came back in the waste. The order to bail out had already been given by the pilot, and so we were preparing to bail out of the waste door. Another ME 109 coming up behind opened up on us and knocked the other three men in front of me off their feet. They were hit. How badly? I'm not able to say. As I felt the plane going into a spin, I bailed out and I was able to watch the plane for a few seconds and I see no other men come out of the plane. I believe, repeat, I firmly believe the pilot stayed with the plane so that we might bail out. B-17 E-May exploded in mid-air after the navigator 2nd Lieutenant Frederick H. McBride, bombardier 2nd Lieutenant Leslie A. Price, and waste gunner Staff Sergeant Fred A. Tabor bailed out. The debris fell to the west of the town of Lüthke in the Hermannsthal Valley at 13.45 hours. The bodies were buried in the cemetery of Lüthke at northwest corner and finally buried in an American cemetery after the war. These are the only pictures of the crew and the B-17 EMA I could find on the 91st Bomb Group website. I wish high resolution pictures exist somewhere. The Bortwood gunner Staff Sergeant Raymond Butler was among the casualties. He and his diary is the topic of the next video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you are interested to individual B-17's history.